Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm gonna show you how to adjust the valve clearance of the motorcycle engine. If you have any trouble with noise in the cylinder head, it may be because of the valve clearance is not at the standard state. So in this video I want to show you how to adjust the valve clearance of the engine, especially the motorcycle engine. Now you can see the valve adjuster hole caps and the first thing you do to adjust valve clearance is to remove this bolt. As you know this uh, valve adjuster hole cap is the intake, intake side and in the bottom in the bottom you cannot see there is the exhaust for the exhaust valve so anyway first we need to open or yeah uh, remove these two bolts using the 8 millimeter box and wrench Second step is remove the timing hole cap and the crankshaft hole cap using the flathead screwdriver. Third step, you need to align the T-mark on the flywheel with the index notch on the left of the crankshaft. You can see here Uh, you need to turn the crankshaft this using the 17 millimeter uh, socket and the ratchet to turn this uh, nut or the flywheel to align the T mark on the flywheel there to the notch to the index notch here so in that position the piston is on the top dead center Now you can see the T mark on the flywheel is aligned with the uh, index notch here and that means the piston is on the top dead center. Be sure that the piston on the top dead center when compression stroke by checking the rocker arm. If the rocker arm is not, uh, uh, you can move the rocker arm both rocker arm that mean the piston is on the top dead center when compression stroke step 4 you need to check the valve clearance by insert the fill gauge the standard valve clearance is 0 0.03 millimeter and you can measure the valve clearance by inserting the filler gauge between the rocker arm and the valve stem like this if there is no resistance if you're moving this filler gauge like this and if no resistance between uh, I mean on this gap that mean the gap between the rocker arm and the valve stem, valve stem is too uh, wide or too big and also you need to make sure the gap between the exhaust rocker arm and exhaust valve, 
file stamp. If the clearance is not standard, you need to adjust the valve clearance. Step 5, adjust the valve clearance by losing the lock nut this and turn the adjusting screw this to adjust the valve clearance using the 9 mm box and wrench to loosen the lock nut okay and then insert the filler gauge on using the 0 0.03 blade Sorry. Okay. Just like this. And then turn oops. The adjusting screw until there is a little resistance I using I prefer using the hand and then you can re check by uh, moving the uh, Okay, that's enough. And hold the adjusting screw using the uh, wire. Ah. And tighten the nine millimeter nut. Okay. So after that, you need to recheck the clearance between the rocker arm and the valve and the valve stem. Is there a change or uh, it's hard to say. Okay. The blade is uh, can insert it to that gap that mean the valve clearance is on the standard size for the exhaust valve you need to adjust on the same way as the intake valve you need to loosen the um, lock nut and then turning the adjusting screw and insert the um, filler gauge to the gap between the rocker arm and the valve stem change this o-ring or the gasket of the um, cap but um, I prefer using the sealer to uh, seal this area to prevent leakage from the cylinder head so anyway just like uh, this yeah <laughs> install the valve adjuster hole cap And then tighten. Insert the timing hole cap. And the uh, 
crankshaft hole cap. and tighten using the flathead screwdriver. Now let's taste this engine. So thank you for watching. If you have any comment or question, you can feel free them below.